Hey YouTube, it's Drew Faust. Today I thought I would show some comics I got from a, a Comic Con I recently went to and some uh, comic book stores. Here's a little bit of video of the Comic Con. Anything? Oh, I saw something that was way overpriced. I'm gonna see if there's anything in here. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the Comic Con I went to was the Huntsville Comic Con in Huntsville, Alabama. Um, and I only got one book. There weren't really that many vendors there. It's a lot of anime, as you know, most nowadays. But um, I did find this one book I did not have. It's one of my favorite literary characters of all time, pretty much. This is uh, Sherlock Holmes number one. This is from DC, 1975. So I don't think it's the first time Sherlock Holmes is in a comic or anything. I think that's back in the 50s or 60s. But um, but this looked this looked like it was in really good condition, and I got it for an okay deal. Most of the comics at the Comic Con I noticed were pretty overpriced, so that's why I didn't pick up much. But this was like 15, 20 bucks, so I went ahead and got that. That's a cool book. In these next. Um, what is it? That same up in Huntsville, I went to a, a store called The Deep. Um, and I got these next, what, five books? Just books that I needed for my collection. Um, so this first one is an image book, Angela number two. I think from 1995 or something. I had I have one in three. I actually have a 9.8 of number one. That's I uh, got that for my wife, but um, I just didn't have two, and they had it for like two bucks or something, three bucks, so I just grabbed that. This next one I did not have either. This uh, could use a press, but it's pretty cheap. It's like 10 bucks or whatever. This is Captain America 290. It's the first appearance of Mother Superior, or I think she's later called Sin. And uh, this book for a while was worth like 50 bucks or something, but I think it's come down now. But anyway, they had it for like 10 bucks, so I just grabbed that. And then next was um, a Fantastic Four annual, number 16. This is from 1981. Just one of the Fantastic Four annuals I didn't have. It looked like it was in great condition. It was like three bucks. So I grabbed that. <clears throat> then I got uh, Web of Spider-Man 105. Just kind of an Infinity Crusade crossover. I have like number one through 104. And I thought, well, I'll just grab 105. So I got that. And it has a, uh, what, Alpha Flight in it? And, well, a number of other characters. And then I got Web of Spider-Man, this 113, I think. This has a Gambit and Black Cat, and it's out actually in a poly bag, and I didn't have that. That was after I quit collecting. I quit collecting, you know, around 93, so this is 94, I think. Maybe a 92, but um. anyway, cool, cool cover. <clears throat> and that was last weekend. Uh, I went up there for that, and then this weekend, <laughs> um, and I hope, hopefully I'll put this video out the Monday after this weekend, but um, I went to my local LCS and this, uh, and I got this, Invaders number eight. I believe it's the first appearance of Union Jack or the first cover appearance. 19, uh, what, 76, I think, the Invaders. So, you know, from World War II team, Captain America, Submariner, Human Torch. But um, yeah, I was happy to find that reasonable and I traded in, I think, a book. I had a copy of a um, Spectacular Spider-Man book with Daredevil in it. So, and I got this. But anyway, that was all the books. I was just going to make a real quick video about that because I didn't get very much at that Comic-Con. 
Hope everyone has a great week, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.